fall around here got off to a slow start with the first real rain of the season falling just last week. So what's in store for the winter? Who better to answer that than our chief meteorologist Natasha Stenbach who's showing us what a weak El Nino actually means Natasha. Yeah, well with El Nino, odds are we could have a warmer than normal winter. The good news for the metro is we may not see a valley snow event causing gridlock like this, but it could also mean less snowfall for ski resorts in the Cascades. Warmer ocean temperatures at the equator impact our weather more than 3,000 miles away. During an El Nino, the jet stream drops further south, and this affects our temperatures and directs precipitation to the southern states and Mexico. Now, typically, that spells a warmer and drier winter than normal for us, but with a weak El Nino, anything goes. History shows we tend to get fewer storms out of the Gulf of Alaska during El Nino, but damaging winds from the south can still rip through the coast and valley. Fall of 2014 was the last time we saw a weak El Nino, and it started with a strong punch. A late October windstorm knocked out power and toppled trees across the metro. I'm standing out there and I hear a loud snap. I thought, oh, what is that? A big boom, and then I heard the house shake. And I thought, oh no, a tree's hit my house. The glass had broken, there was debris, metal on the floor. Then in December, another big windstorm ripped a piece of sheet metal off the Pac West building downtown. It slammed into the standard plaza building next door. It sounded like a hurricane. I mean, it just, just like this wind sound was tremendous. So I thought, you know, this may be the last moment. And so I, I just hunched and, and, ban and then it hit. Who could forget this windstorm that rounded out the winter? The March 2015 storm peeled scaffolding off the old Greek Cuisina building in downtown Portland. Other weak El Ninos in recent history include the winters of 2004-2005 and 2006-2007. That year, the Hanukkah Eve windstorm knocked out power to 1.5 million people in Oregon and Washington and killed 16. And you can see the trees bending at, a, bending at a 45 degree angle. When Mother Nature gets mad, she can, she can put on quite a show. An El Nino winter can start with normal snowfall the first part of the season. Then the latter part of the winter tends to warm up. The benefit here is that warmer storms bring a wetter snowpack with higher water content. Hikers and climbers reap the rewards as this tends to provide a safer and more stable snow profile, perhaps fewer avalanches. The key here isn't how many inches of snow falls, it's the amount of water stored in the snowpack. Well, so, you know, when you hear the words El Nino, don't panic. You saw a lot of extreme video mm -hmm. of major wind events that we did have, but that doesn't happen every time there's an El Nino phase. So, and I, and I like what you said, you know, you, everyone thinks, oh, we have to get those inches piling up in the mountains. You said it depends on the water content, yeah. not so necessarily how much snow has fallen. Yeah, exactly, a big difference there. And just a little change in our temperature can really mean the difference between seeing valley snow yeah, yeah. or not. And uh, interestingly enough, 20% of our snowiest winters right there, right here in Portland were during El Nino phases. Mm -hmm. But you can see, then you look at the other side of the coin, 80% didn't happen during El Nino. Yeah, so. <laughs> There's a lot of numbers, a lot of information. This yes. is not an exact science. This is something you guys are, these are probabilities that you are working on yeah. with a whole lot of data too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's all based on past information. A lot continues to change. And so because there are so many details out there, we have a new element to our weather webpage and it's called Climate Corner. And you can go there right now, check it out and read all about it, see all of the graphics, because there is an overload of information and we don't have enough time on air to talk about it. But go there, Climate Corner on coin.com.